Welcome back to Point Blank on Workplace Bullies. Well, we've seen all the scenarios. Which is the greatest of all evils? Yeah. And how do you cope with workplace bullies? Okay, let's uh, uh, get Wing Fi to pick one. Yeah, which is the Back worst? Backstabber. Backstabber. Yeah. Okay. So it's the feeling of betrayer. Yes, that is right. The, the hardest to handle. Yeah. Okay. So have you been backstabbed before? Definitely. Definitely. I think every one of us experienced oh, that before. Wow. Okay. I guess the way to get back at him right, is gather more friends. Mm. Right? Ostracize him. Okay. Build gang. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Create your gang. Okay. Because it's just like playground bullying. You know, mm. you always ha- you have a f- your own clique. Ah. Right. And then bully the person back. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> so an yeah. eye for an eye. <laughs> la, okay. Okay. Yeah, you throw the whole office for lunch, right? Except him. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, no, let's <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, not bully them. <laughs> Okay, what about I guess um, out of uh, maybe I'm a not pick from out of mm-hmm. those five. I would just say that I think it was it would be the worst feeling for me mm-hmm. if the boss is the big bully mm-hmm. in the workplace because mm-hmm. um, he or she is ultimately the one who determines your fate in mm-hmm. the company, like whether you'll be promoted or whether you will be, you know, mm-hmm. um, you get a better bonus. Exactly, yeah. and if your career path, how smooth your career path is going to be depends on that particular person. Mm -hmm. So if that person is a big bully in a way um, does not want you to, it's not approachable at Mm -hmm. all and you can't really learn much from that person, then I would say that that would be the worst scenario. And your access to advance. Yes, exactly. If it's like you are being, if it's more of like Mm -hmm. co-workers, colleagues, Mm -hmm. uh, at least you can choose to kind of avoid that person. But you can't avoid your boss. Okay. If you are supposed to report to him mm-hmm. or her every time, oh, so right. to me, the worst bully would be the boss. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you encountered a situation whereby you know your boss is a big bully, but in a way, because everyone else in the office has suffered under his leadership, they kind of like bind together, and then you feel really like a it's big like in the war, is it? <laughs> uh, like bed yeah. of brothers, you go yeah. through a war. Yeah. So you experience that form of brotherhood, you know, within your mm. workplace. Will it be also? Uh, can we see something positive out of it when your boss is a big bully? Yeah. I guess in a way we will complain to one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like during lunchtime, you know, mm-hmm. we might talk about it. Yeah. But when things happen, uh, your co-workers, your colleagues might not stand up for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, like what they say, you know, you have to protect yourself in yeah. the workplace. So I, obviously, if things happen between, for example, me and the boss, mm-hmm. and the other people will just you know, sit back and, oh, Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, but they won't do anything. Ultimately, they still want their their jobs. Okay. So you can complain, you can gossip gossip with them, but mm-hmm. nothing. Yeah. But I think that's the least that we can do, like right? at least to offer a listening ear mm. when we are grousing. Correct. But after I mm. <laughs> gossip, you know, after I complain to them, I will go worrying like, okay, will they backstab me mm-hmm. or things like that? You know, so this is kind of like the office politics, which is rather irritating mm-hmm. in a way. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. Actually, how about Li yeah. Uh, which is the greatest evil? Yeah, mm. greatest evils. Um, I think the one that's more prevailing in our office mm. is the gossip mongers. Uh. Oh, <laughs> so, so you don't like the gossip mongers? Yeah. No, I'm part of it. <laughs> <laughs> and you I'm hate yourself for being part of it. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, we have fun. But you spread good gossip, right? You don't spread the negative no. We don't spread the malicious ones, uh, oh. But sometimes you know, you just, you, I mean, you 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 will gossip about people, mm. and then it adds. Variety to your your <laughs> place, right? But uh, because I, but this if it's not controlled well, I guess it can, it can get pretty bad, uh. mm-hmm. mm. Especially because if it gets to the management level, right? Management and yeah. to the person who hears about it and about gossiping mm. about, mm. Mm. Yeah, and this person will can really feel very hurt. Right? I mean, okay. if we say nasty things about this person. Yeah. Uh. I have an ex colleague who once told me that you know you can try not to get involved in office politics, but if you have to make a stand. Ultimately, make sure that you go out to the correct side. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't fall into the wrong side. Yeah. Then you might be kind of condemned mm-hmm. forever. Yeah. yeah, and it's also not a good idea to stay in isolation. But right? I would rather. I mean, yeah. I would rather just get away from all the office mm-hmm. politics and just do whatever I want. But if you know situation does happen that I have to take a side, then mm-hmm. make sure that I take the correct side. Okay. Yeah. Just one last question: Has uh, any of you approached your, the de- HR department in your company for help before because of you know um, bullying situations in the office? I have. Okay. I think that um, because in my previous company I wasn't having exactly a very good time, mm-hmm. so I did approach the HR department. I was quite close to one of the offices there, mm-hmm. and she was of a great help to me. She did uh, give me offer me solutions mm-hmm. like you know uh, I could 
consider a transfer of department. Mm-hmm. You know, that was one of the solutions. Mm-hmm. And I, because of what she told me, I did actually stay on for mm-hmm. a longer time. But ultimately, I still decided that, okay, this is not really what I want. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah. so you leave the But company. I think that it is a good idea to approach the HR department okay. if your HR department is a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's actually... Contrary to what I thought, I thought HR would offer you all the diplomatic solutions uh, without solving the problem. But at least in your case, mm-hmm. they offer a listening ear and they play the role of a counsellor and you feel They were better. very helpful to me. Okay. Uh, I would not say they as in the entire department, it's more of like that particular person mm. whom I dealt with. Mm-hmm. She was really nice. Okay, alright. So, uh, thanks so much uh, yep. for joining us in the discussion. Okay, yeah. our Razorism mm-hmm. for today. Yep. Yeah. Absolute power mm. corrupts absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're saying that there's a bully in all mm-hmm. of us. Okay. So I think unless we become bosses of our own mm. one day, then, you know, if we become bosses, then we will strive not to let bullying prevail. Well, yeah, <laughs> we try. Right. Oh, we should try. Mm. So uh, quit bullying, but don't fall prey to bullies either. So thanks a lot and bye.